All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor that's due to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rachak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles and great millstone who are well. Peace and blessing to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect. Shalom Barakatum. And I'm going to read an article the brother sent earlier, man, um, about uh, the first idiot that took the uh, the new Neuralink device, which we all know that what this is related to. Um, it says, first human to receive Neuralink implant says it lets him play Civilization VI. Um, and Civilization VI is a video game. I believe it's mainly on PC, um, which I thought it was a pretty good game. I played, you know, part four or something way back in the day um, that lets you basically build, you know, civilizations from scratch from the Stone Age all the way to the modern era and to the future and whatever. Um, but it's a pretty complicated game, you know, so this is how to ensnare you because if you can play a game that complicated with just your mind okay it opens up this realm of possibilities it goes into those miracles that everybody was uh <laughs> is going to be so fascinated with man they see the apple the the apple uh uh, uh goggles and they go oh wow you can just change somebody's face all right you can make you could be out at a lake right a big ass scenic view and then you could just have a 200 foot movie screen in front of you you know watching it you know and uh and and these are the miracles that's getting everybody so excited man all right but we all know those that are in the know we know good and well that this is a snare man all right let me see Let's see if i can find it brother brought this out recently as well too revelation 19 and 20 and the beast was taken and him and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him all right all right and and the, this is part of the miracles man and honestly the 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 marketing campaign is going to go nuts because what's going to happen is they're going to show people being able to walk again okay they might even be able to uh give somebody their eyesight back these are all miracles that the the prophets, Yahweh Shai did through the disciples and, and, the, and the apostles back in the day on the right hand side, we, we did these things. But now he's going to promise you these things on the left hand side now. All right. And this is all to do what? To get you to go off. And what, what I mean by off is, you know, off the cliff. Because if you take this karagma, there is no coming back. All right. And it says with, with, with which he deceived them that had the mark of the uh, karagma, all right, and the image, and them that worshiped his image, these both were cast live into the lake of fire burning with brimstone, all right? So, <laughs> this is this is the okie doke, man. I was watching the uh, this boxer named, uh, he's blowing up right now over there in the UK, uh, named Ben Whitaker, man, he's just clowning on. <laughs> He's he's a, he's a bit of a uh, you know a show a showboat if you will. Uh, he likes to do all kind of dancing and mocking in the ring. But I saw him do this combo the other day, man, and it was so cold how he did it. He literally he dumped his face in like that. The dude swung. He he backed out, and when the dude swung in, he just hit him straight. He was completely open, man. Just boom, boom. All right, and he and, and his face actually came into the punch, man. When you go into a punch like that. It only take one of them, you know, and uh, but he baited him. That was the point, man. You know, he made it seem like oh he had an opening when really he was giving his opening up, and that's what these, and that's what this propaganda is gonna be, man. It's gonna sell you on this idea, but it's just that an idea. It's not you're not gonna realize any gain or profit from it, you know. This guy has, does not have a habit of allowing you to enrich yourself, even in the medical industry. Does he not allow you to get healthy? You know, he gives you things to make the pain go away So you keep coming back, you know, that's that's how the whole thing works, man So if you think this is gonna be any different he's, He just came up with this technology to give you these miracles All right, then then you're a part of it. You're a part of the unwise man. That's gonna be gathered together and burnt up, you know um, And it says Let me see Let me see. Let 
see here. Yeah, I could just hold Revelation 13 real quick. Um, let me see where the part that I want. Let me go back to the article, so lock you. Uh, it says 29 year old Nolan Arbar, uh, quadriplegic. See, there you go. It says the brain implant let uh, has allowed him to play chess and civilization on his PC using his mind. And he says, I'm so freaking lucky to be a part of this. All right, so you see why the whole world is gonna have a, 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 a decision to make, man, because. He's doing it because he's already not in good case, you know? He already, uh, he's gonna be sold on it and the other people are gonna be forced into it because what, they, what they're not telling you is this crash is coming. What they're not telling you is that people are gonna be fighting each other to the death over food, okay? So even though you're gonna see that this is the devil at play, but you're not gonna have it in you to resist. Why? Because you're gonna have kids, you're gonna wanna eat. You know, the only people that are gonna be preserved are the elect. All right, and and now the first humans got it, man. That's really it. You saw how fast the FDA rubber stamped this guy, man. If now if we had a, if Jake had a technology that it goes into the brain, it, it would have took like ten years and like millions and millions of dollars of paying people off under the table here and there to get that pushed through the FDA, man. But Esau just has the FDA, you know, basically captured, man. You know, so so. This thing got pushed in quick, and so it's gonna roll out quick as well. You know, this guy Elon Musk, he's been anointed as the foremost capitalist of America and the new world, man. All of this guy's technology, um, it all boils down to the agenda of, you know, Klaus Schwab over there, man. When you really look at it, all of his businesses, it's not, at Neuralink is the main thing, right? They, they know what they wanna put in you, all right? But he also owns uh, 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 SpaceX, all right? And uh, SpaceX is, is, is the one uh, basically launching all these, these satellites in outer space and they're a major defense contractor, all right? And they have something called the Dragon, all right? They have, they have a rocket called the Dragon, the, the Dragon Heavy, I believe, all right? Making these, these great, uh, 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 proclamations that we're going back to the moon going back to mars you're going to mars they're they not going there man they, you know they, they don't they, they're not they're not going there but 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 what else does starlink own that uh not starlink uh spacex owns which elon musk owns they own a company called starlink which is satellite based internet all right you're going to be able to get people internet in the middle of the jungle in congo and the Afri in the amazon rainforest all right now I could see them shutting down all of the ground cable because you can't really cut every cable on the ground, all right, to control internet. But you can shut down all of the ground internet and make everybody move to the satellite internet. And that way you can control each individual person who has internet access and who doesn't. You know, Musk owns this company, he's juiced in, man. Okay, and then he owns Tesla. What is? What else is that? Do what, what? What is Tesla's ultimate goal? Do they want you to just have a uh, uh, no gas bill? That's why he made Tesla's no, man. The Teslas are gonna come with AI. They're gonna come with uh, uh, automated driving, okay? Which the vehicle can just take you to the police station if it want to. Elon Musk is at the forefront of this, man. Cause the Klaus Schwab said it. He, you're gonna own nothing and be happy, okay? Musk is a part of that, man, okay? You see? So, so, oh, he also owns the Boring Company. Now, the Boring Company is basically a company where they bore tunnels underground, okay, to make, uh, to, uh, to make, uh, 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 basically underground tunnels for, they say it's for traffic, you know? But, but we know how the elites get down, man, you know? So, this guy and all of his companies are very, very, very suspicious, man, all right? And this is why the men of the Lord have to get up there and warn you because you see all this new technology and you have a lot of Elon Musk fanboys, all right? 
or he's going to take us and save the, save civilization. We got to become a multi-planetary species. You hear him saying stuff like that. Well, for what, man? You have an island of plastic in the ocean, man. An island. Okay, y'all have not taken care of the earth. And this guy is trying to tell you we need to be for what? So you can have McDonald's and plastic on Mars and, and everywhere else. All right. But, but when you pay attention to the scriptures, you see this is one of the uh, indicators of who the devil is, man. But it says that he put to himself all people and he's not satisfied in Habakkuk, the second chapter. All right. It says the first human to receive Neuralink's implant says it changed his life forever for the better, allowing him to use a computer simply with his mind in the live stream Wednesday Neuralink introduced 29 year old Nolan quadriplegic all right skipping down okay he agreed to it back in January okay now Elon Musk is talking about yeah I w I'm, I'm gonna get one as soon as we know it's safe or does he have one is he gonna pretend to have one <laughs> you're gonna have a little thing glued to his head it ain't really gonna be in there all right but but these people are gonna fawn over these miracles and when you find out that you can just type be on social media make yourself look however you want without even having to move or do th this is how you got to the matrix man where it's just a body plugged into something <laughs> all right and everything else is fake when you look into the real world you're living underground somewhere you know hiding from ai robots <laughs> that's what it was they, they're quite literally making the matrix, man. All right. Let me see. Anyway. You got you got to be stupid to take this, man. I'm going to get two more precepts and then close it. Um, this is uh, Revelation 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spake as a dragon. All right, now this is talking about the left, right wing, red, blue party, you know, that, that comes under the guise of democracy, but really all of their bipartisan efforts is down is do, there to do what? To spoil you. The TikTok ban was what? Bipartisan. The, 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 uh, the relief of 2020, the economic relief of 2020, that was bipartisan, all right? Where they, where they hyperinflated the economy and now they're hiding it. They're trying to, you know, ease it and kick the bucket down the road further. That was bipartisan, the Patriot Act. That was bipartisan, all right? All of their draconian measures they agree to, but everything else, social issues, though, this person agrees with A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N, all right? Or this, this person believes in healthcare. This person believes in, you know, they'll let you split hairs red, blue over that, but when it comes to the, the agenda, they're not splitting hairs over it, man. And they don't care how unpopular it is. Nancy Pelosi, has had an approval rating under 20% for I don't know how long. And she's, oh, she's always in office, man. There's no threat of her leaving office because this whole thing is a ruse, man. It's theater, you know? And uh, I'm going to keep going. It says verse 12, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. The first beast is talking about the first half of the fourth beast from Daniel, all right? And, and the fourth beast in Daniel is talking about the Roman Empire. But when you read this in Revelation 13, uh, all the Revelation, you see that fourth beast is broken up into two beasts, the first and the second, all right? Now, this is talking about the first version of the fourth beast, okay? And this is why you gotta, you know, defer to your elders and apostles, man, and get understanding on some of these prophecies, you know? But that first beast is basically the Roman Empire. That's the image that they're causing you to worship. And what do we see in the Roman Empire? They're overprinting money, overextending the military, taking more land than they can handle, all right? Letting all kind of sexual deviancies take place among the population. Even the emperors themselves were, were, were young boy lovers, okay? And, and what do you see? It's all happening again. Look who's in Biden's cabinet, man, okay? So this thing is, is, is happening all over again, okay? This is why there's no point of, of kicking against the pricks, man. It's gonna happen, okay? 
that 401k you got, it, it, listen, man, you ain't gonna be able to get to it in a day of trouble, okay? And it ain't gonna do you no good even if you could, because money, money ain't gonna mean a motherfucking thing in, a, in, a, in the coming times, okay? So what is he gonna entice you with? All right, well, let's read verse 13. Um, it says, and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, all right, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, okay? And that's what we, that's what we see right now. He's got the whole world in check by his military and it's mainly his air superiority is where he has everybody in check, okay? But what Esau has not figured out is that everybody else is caught up, okay? He He's advanced, but he's only slightly more advanced. And that slight advancement is not enough to combat everybody else that's caught up to you, man. Everybody has this now. Everybody has long-range missiles now. Everybody has a, 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 a Air Force now, all right? Not everybody, but you know, there, there's plenty of... Uh, of second world countries that that and even third world quote unquote countries that have militaries man okay these emerging markets iran india all right china okay and now we know that esau has no defense at all whatsoever he has none <laughs> he, he's really good at attacking and it makes sense because that's how esau is has been historically he's been really good at attacking he's especially he's good at uh at just hitting you with overwhelming force coming up with technology that allows him to attack okay but he's never been good at asymmetrical warfare which is like guerrilla tactics and he's never been good at really at uh maintaining a defense and and the defense the air defense for america is basically it's not gonna help you know so it's the thing, the, the miracles that he's sold everybody on is not what everybody thinks it is, man. He's going to get sorely upset, okay? It says, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image of the beast which had the womb by the sword and did live, all right? This is talking about the rebirth of the Roman Empire, okay? And that, that's basically what this is. The, the, the uh, agreement that they had after World War II, the Second World was called the Treaty of Rome, okay? And what was it? It was all these European nations, France, Germany, you know, the UK, America, okay? They all they all shook hands and, and formed the, the European Union, the uh, World Economic Forum. Well, not, well, that came a little bit later. The International Monetary Fund, the World Bank, the UN, all of that got formed out of the Treaty of Rome, man. Okay, NATO. So, so this is him reviving that first beast, man. Okay, and it's been causing hell all over the planet Earth, man. You know, every every major war in, in the world since that has been America's been involved, man. Or, or one of these, or one of these uh, NATO nations have been involved. All right. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, okay? So, so get ready for this rhetoric to turn up, man, all right? Get ready for a major hypocrisy when it comes to principles like free speech, okay? These people have been... Uh, uh, greatly deceived, man. They're idiots, man. And the and the people that know, they're not gonna have it in them to overcome any our temptation, man. All right. Only the elect are gonna overcome. Okay. Let me see if I can find that. Let's see. See, let's see. Um, 
yeah, I'll just go to Revelation 17. Because how how are we gonna overcome? It's through it's through Yahweh Shai, man, his sacrifice and, and the actions he's getting ready to take when he returns, all right? Which is gonna be mass death, okay? Revelation 17 and 14, victory for the lamb. It says, these shall make war with the lamb and the lamb shall overcome them for he is the Lord Yahweh's uh, of lords and king of kings. For he is Lord of lords, Salakia, and king of kings. And they, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Okay? So we are, we are going to overcome this thing. We're not going to be deceived and, and and we're definitely not going to be bitched into taking it, man. And this is why we have to pray that the that the Lord put the Spirit on us to endure, man. That's because we're gonna fight. We're gonna face a, a very tempting scenario, man. That's why it's called the hour of temptation. All right, but but the Lord is not gonna let His elect be suckered away from this, man. All right. It says, and He saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest. Where the horse saith are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. So this is going to touch everybody. Okay, everybody's going to see what's going on here. All right, and it says in the ten horns that y'all saw us, thou saw us upon the beast. <coughs> These shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So ultimately, not only is he not going to get the elect, but they're all going to turn on each other. All right, the nations over there in Europe, they're going to, they're going to see this thing getting out of hand. These riots are going to get out of hand. The people are going to become way too unruly. The natural disasters and earthquakes are going to become too much to manage. The threat of war, World War III getting nuked is going to be, they're going to be like, no, you know, we side with you, you know? And I think a lot of those nations are going to side with, uh, <laughs> with Putin and those Eastern powers, you know, Iran and China when it comes down to it. Why? Because they don't, they really don't want smoke, you know? All of this has been fomented by the whore, okay? It says, For the Most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill His will, and to agree, and to give their kingdom unto the beast, until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled, okay? So, it was the will of the Most High to follow along with these devils, man, all right? And, and it's the will of the Lord that, that his men overcome this thing, man. All right? Now, this obviously looks ridiculous to brothers that us that, that are in the know. But a lot of people are going to be deceived and they're going to be they're going to be forced into it. You know? They don't know what it's like to not have food for three days, let alone three weeks. And their stomach touching their back. It's not going to be that hard of a decision for them to make. You see? So anyway, man, I'll end it there. Uh, Lord willing, this is edifying. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rachakodash, Shalom, Kamiyashar.